Good day YouTube. This is just a bit of a quick comparison video between KDE Neon on the left and Linux Mint 20.1 on the right. So grab your stein of coffee and let's get started. Okay, so starting off on the left hand side, we've got the KDE Neon desktop environment and on the right hand side, Linux Mint 20.1. Now they are a little bit different in some ways. So uh, they're not exactly a fair comparison. They are uh, running on different desktop uh, environments. So a little bit apples to oranges, but KDE Neon on the left hand side, as we can see, is actually running on the uh, KDE Plasma desktop environment, as you can no doubt guess, whereas Linux Mint on the right has its own cinnamon, uh, whoops, load out of that, cinnamon desktop environment there, the, the inbuilt or the, the in-house built one there. Now on the left hand side we have KDE Neon which is actually based on Ubuntu uh, long term service release as is uh, Linux Mint uh, 20.1 so similar back end if not the same in many ways there. In fact if we even have a closer look they've got the exact same kernel so they're both running off uh, the Focal Fossa Ubuntu 20.04 back end there. If we have a look at the file managers, we'll find that they are a little bit different there as well. One is, one is running the, uh, the like the GNOMES, the GNOME file manager, also known as Nautilus or Nemo, that sort of thing there. Whereas on the right hand side, we're running the, the, the default desktop or file manager for KDE, which is Dolphin there. Uh, they are about the same, they're much of a muchness, so I wouldn't be too concerned. I do happen to like the Linux Mint one a little bit better there. Uh, moving on, uh, let's see. So we have the uh, let's have a look at some of the the CPU and RAM usage for each. So idling out on the CPU, that's that's okay there. But the the KDE Neon takes the cake for using less RAM, about 530 megabytes of RAM straight off the bat on boot up. Whereas on the uh, the Linux Mint side, uh, with Cinnamon uh, the interface or the desktop environment running, actually about 700 megabytes of RAM. So a little bit unexpected, but uh, yeah, it does use a little bit more. Something to take into consideration depending on the hardware you want to install either of these operating systems on. But that's pretty much it guys, I just thought I'd do a super simple quick fun video comparison here. Uh, please leave a comment, subscribe, and I do hope to see you guys all there in the next one. Ciao.